Only a few know where some of the Buddhist marble sculptures located inside many temples across Cambodia came from. They are being made at this Osdal village of Posat province. As there are many provinces sculpting Buddha images of various sizes and sculpting stones into animals such as elephant, fish, tigers and legendary animals from the Buddhist religion. But what made Posat province special is carving marble and that unique face that is recognizable through the eyes and smile of the Buddha image. Mr. Swipen is considered the best Angkor style sculptor in the village. So what are some of the processes that you have to go through in order to make like a statue? Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, first, uh, we, we, find, we find the marble who look, uh, can make a statue. And then we, we draw it on the marble, and then we, we take some, some piece of the marble drawing out, out. and then uh, we can make it with the body, look like the, the hand, and, yeah, and the head, the, the ear, and the final, we, we, make, we make it with the, with the clothes. Sounds simple, but a statue this size can take as long as two months to complete varies in prices from a few dollars to ten thousand dollars depending on the size and material use however profit is just a little over 10 percent on each as the design gained popularity higher prices of raw materials and long production hours slow the output this beautiful Angkor style sculpted marble statue is disappearing as sculptors turn to other designs to gain a better profit the government and some local people are trying to help preserve such heritage. Mr. Lakping Lee, the Director of Culture and Fine Arts of Posat Province, explains that the government is working to help preserve such art and design heritage, which is fading away. The Ministry of Commerce is helping sculptors in exhibiting their artworks at various exhibitions and also helping to find markets both inside and outside the country. The Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts also helps in maintaining and preserving the style, which promotes the province as a tourist destination. A fine art school is also to be developed to help train and preserve the cultural heritage of Posat and to get the younger generation to join in. Initially, the government is helping to reduce taxes for sculptors to give them access to cheaper materials. Those who are interested in helping to conserve such heritage can do so by contacting the Culture and Fine Arts Department of Posat, donating supplies and materials or by offering financial support. Ostal village of Posat province is just 200 km away from the capital city of Phnom Penh and also 200 km away from the border with Thailand. It's an interesting village to visit and learn about the magnificent art and culture of Cambodia at the same time. Ampanosi Sinsap reporting from Posa Province, Cambodia.